Continue to go into his head here. Making the fire black, and I really can't tell you why, because I'm not sure why I'm doing that. I just feel like it's a more graphic shape if I do that. Kind of looks like his head caught on fire. I'm trying to put it out. Hmm. Right now he's okay. He's just looking a little, a little too generic for me. Gotta throw something different in, in there. I'm not sure what yet though, or where I can do that. How about maybe like spikes coming out the back? Hopefully it looks like spikes and it doesn't read as more fire. Making this line a little thicker because coming a, it's ahead of the other one, it's overlapping. Hmm. Let me see. Maybe he only has armor on one side, and the other side, it's just his arm. All right, I'm making that an arm. I'm trying really hard not to make it overly cartoony. I mean, it's definitely a little cartoony, definitely. But trying to make, trying not to make it overly cartoony. So overly cartoony would be. That would depend on the line strokes that you pull. I'm going to give him another arm. I feel that might separate it a little bit. Let's see. I'm just going to draw his hand out here first. Hmm. Uh, his hand's kind of getting messy right now. Made a mistake over there, but I'm going to try to turn that into armor of some kind. I'm trying to BS it. I have to put that a little higher because this deltoid would be in that thing. So Maybe I'll give him a little bit of armor back there. Try to remember what's overlapping what. What is more in front of something else? That's kind of difficult. But if you want something to come forward, 
but a slightly larger line in front of it. Should have planned this one out more, his hand kind of getting a little mixed up because I didn't draw it in pencil first. Uh -huh. But I got to keep going. I got to uh, play the hand that I'm dealt here. Mm, that's a crappy hand. That is a crappy hand. I'll see if I can replace that later. With something. That is a really bad hand. Let's see if I can fix it somehow. Damn! I don't think I can fix that. I think that is... I think that is there. It looks too much like he's twisting his hand. I don't want that at all. I guess I gotta make it look like I did it on purpose now. Mm -hmm. I must put some more definition in that lower arm. Definition that bicep area. If you plan things well enough, um, you can draw pretty much anything, obviously, but, uh, I'm just, like I said, sketching for myself, uh, just kind of freeform drawing. Maybe his armor's tied down. Maybe his chest is elongated somehow. I'm, I'm kind of mildly thinking about what's actually going on or what, what he's made of, per se. I'm going to actually make his arm go downward. Originally, I was going to make it go up. But I'm going to make it go down. And I don't know what to do with this batch over here. Maybe I'll just ignore it or make it something else. What could go with the storyline of this guy? I don't know. Whatever this guy is. Maybe he's a bug. Bug demon soldier for some army that I'm unaware of. And then Gotta have another arm over here. So on down. Put his lower parts into shadow. Not sure how much shadow though. I'm actually going to grab this char pack because it's a. It's actually thicker, so I can fill in larger spaces of line. It's really no different than a magic marker, but it just fills in larger areas that I can't right now.
Fill in a couple of places, like under the armpits. Mm, I gotta fill in that mouth, but I'm gonna do that very, very carefully. Looks like he's got a stump for a hand, so I'm gonna throw that in there. It's hard, though. The rule is try to end it attractively. You know what I mean? That would be the rule. If you're gonna cut it off, like I am, the rule is to try to end the picture in an attractive way where it's okay to the eye. And, uh, I'm not sure I'm doing that, really. I don't think I am, actually, but I'm trying. Trying to solve issues here. Alright, actually, right now, I'm going to take this opportunity to get my kneaded eraser and erase. So I can kind of make sense of what's going on. Yeah, it kind of makes a little more sense to me. This arm's too small. Make it look bigger. I'll make this bigger over here like he's, I don't know, carrying something. I'm gonna make it look like a just something going on, like a scene, some sort of battle. Figure out some way to end this. <laughs> Still, it's almost like I'm, I can follow it to the end of the earth over here. Still using this chart pack, which is actually drying out on me. Uh, I might make a pretty decent inking, I guess. Going back into it. Still need to go into that mouth. I'm afraid to go there. I'm afraid how it's going to make the picture look, but. I gotta go in. Finding some edges down here. He's got spikes on his hand, on his arm. Maybe they're randomly placed. I don't know. It's your drawing. If you're messing around, you can change anything at will. That's the funnest part about you know, being an artist, you know, that's one of the cooler things. That's why you want to do this stuff for a hobby or you want to do this as a career. You want to be able to create the stuff that's kind of floating around in your head. I mean, I don't know if this guy's floating around in my head, per se, because it's creepy. But, I mean, to have ideas and everybody has got ideas and, you know, it, it feels good. You know, you get some sort of satisfaction of sketching. It's fun. It is a lot of fun being an artist. And uh, I don't want you guys to forget that because sometimes you're doing this and if you want to do this for a career, it starts to kind of suck. It starts to, you can start having to do this to live, you know? You forgot what it was like to just have fun. You put stress on yourself to get better, to improve. But don't do that. You know, don't do that to yourself. Just, um,. If you have fun and you learn, you know, just if, if you're just not having fun anymore, get away from it for a couple of a uh, couple of weeks if you have to, and come back to it and realize why you love it. Um, 